Help, I am secretive eating. I run to the grocery store, I get a candy, I scarf it down in the car on the way home. I grab candy off my coworker's desk or out of a bag and I go eat it by myself in the bathroom. Um, I take little things here and there and I, and I don't even necessarily track them. I just eat them when people aren't looking. If that is you, let us begin to talk about how we can help. So I had a coaching client who asked me almost this exact question. She says, there's things I sometimes don't track that I eat in secret or eat in my car. What can I do about this? And what you have to remember about secret eating, there's only one person, only one, who's getting hurt by it, and it's you. I used to do all of those things, by the way. I used to totally buy food, scarf it down in the car, find dumpsters to throw wrappers away. I used to believe it was like I was getting away with something. (laughs) And of course, I was over 300 pounds, so what I was thinking I was getting away with, I have no idea, but that's what I believed. Anyway, I changed the rules on myself. I said, you know, Heather, you can eat whatever you want in whatever quantity you want, but you cannot eat in the car anymore. It is a no food zone. I got really good about putting the food back in the trunk, locking it in the trunk to where when I was driving down the road, I couldn't reach behind me and grab it. Yes, I know the tricks. I would have had to stop, pop the, pop the trunk and get the food out. I made a deal with myself. You can eat whatever you want. You have to eat it at the table like a civilized human being. And you have to track it before you consume it. So whereas in my mind before, I had thought to myself, if I seek secretive or sneak eat it, I kind of don't have to track it because... Nobody saw me do it, so it doesn't count. <laughs> and I got really like, okay, let's be let's be grown-ups for a second, Heather. Yes, it does count. You consumed the food. You can totally have it. But there was a weird feeling for me that I wasn't allowed to have it. I had grown up thinking my weight was an issue, feeling everyone's eyes were on me with what I did or didn't eat. And so For me, I felt like the only way I could have those things was to eat them in secret, okay? And you might feel exactly the same. So I'm not saying you have to copy my personal, you know, parameters or boundaries, but my uh, parameters or boundaries were one, all food was allowed, totally allowed. If we want to build a healthy relationship with food, it starts with having healthy eating behaviors, normal eating behaviors. So I can have anything, Reese's cups, random candies and tchotchkes and all that stuff. I have to take them, go sit in a public, as much public as possible, dining room table, break room table. Um, if, I, if I'm going to have ice cream, I go out to an ice cream shop and sit at a table. (laughs) Notice table keeps coming up because I did a lot of my eating standing and in the corner. Um, And so anyway, sitting at a table and then I had to track it. Okay, so I'm going to have, you know, three Reese's cups or whatever, track it and then sit down and enjoy it. Now I am going to tell you it's going to feel different doing this than what you normally do. When we secretive eat, there's a certain adrenaline rush that comes with that process whether you're eating the food quickly because you're in the car going home, whether or not you snag some candy off your coworker's desk and you take it and go eat it in the bathroom. It's, it is a heightened experience that it will not be when you sit down and eat it like a civilized person. That was probably the biggest blow to my gut that it felt so different. And it was to me, not the same high and enjoyment factor that I had become accustomed to. It took foods that felt exciting. Uh, It took foods that I might have eaten in large quantities to just normal portions. It kind of started to change that whole experience for me, which is good because I don't think I would have lost 170 pounds had I not done that. So I just want to give you that heads up that if you practice this enough, you put these boundaries in place, you say, okay, I don't eat it in the car. I can eat whatever I want. I have to eat it at a table. I have to track it, but I can eat whatever I want. If you follow that process long enough, you're going to notice a shift in how you feel eating those foods. 
So anyway, these are some ways to begin cracking through the secret of eating, getting honest with yourself, making progress. But the big, big important factor in all this is the eating whatever you want. You have to give yourself that permission. You have to sit with the discomfort of eating those foods in front of other people and really letting that go. Because for me, that was a very difficult thing to let go of. But when I did, it started to make it to where I felt very normal just eating, eating with other people. So just want to encourage you to feel free to feel uncomfortable, but do it anyway. All right. I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe to me on YouTube. And if you have any more questions or need any more help, I would absolutely love to know about it. All right, you guys take care. Talk to you soon.